Introducing the Lega Football Mosconi moment. This is in memory of Germano Mosconi. He was actually born in Verona, a sports journalist and an anchor man. And basically, since the inception of YouTube, he became an internet celebrity, and that's how I actually found him. Mosconi, born in Verona, was a well known television personality in northern Italy due to his sportcasting on Telenuovo Network in Verona in the 1980s until his death in early March 2012. Every now and then, he would go to the swear word department, blasphemy, insults, and other rude language, both in Venetian and Italian, as well as other humorous antics. And that's what made his videos go viral. So let's give you a sample of what he was capable of. Amici in ascolto un cordiale buongiorno. Quella di ieri è... cos'è che è caduto dall'altra parte, Dio? Dio buono. Dai, ricominciamo da capo, dai. Vaffanculo! Se io trovo quello che mi ha fatto innervosire il cane da un pugno che gli spacco la testa. Dio sp... lo troverò quel deficiente prima o dopo, eh. Perché mi prendi il motore? Perché chi è che sarà la porta, Dio cane? No, nessuno, Gesù Cristo, no, nessuno. He did lose his temper on air and occasionally. So do footballers and people working in sport and calcio. Well, let me give you an example of a Mosconi moment. We'll go into the past. We'll go into last season. Davide Nicola throwing his shoe on the touchline. That's what we're going to consider a Mosconi moment. Let's go back even further. Giovanni Trapattoni hurling insults during a press conference. A Mosconi moment. Now let's bring in match day one and let's go to the Brianteo. Adriano Galliani with his frustrations during the Monza Torino match. And you can see images in the highlights reel on the Serie A YouTube channel if you go and watch the Monza Torino highlights. A little bit upset that Filippo Ranocchia didn't find the back of the net from outside the box. A little bit harsh in my opinion. Then there's Andre Radu for his Moscone moment. The way he reacted punching the goalpost when Fiorentina's winner went in. Understandable though. Most professional sportsmen would react in a very similar way. But for me, and this one's coming from Serie B, the Moscone moment of the week is Roberto Venturato for Spal. The post-game moment that he had with Filippo Inza We've tweeted about this on the LEGO Football profile. Before the match started, Venturato wanted to shake hands with Pippo Inzaghi, but Inzaghi was nowhere to be found. Instead, he was talking to the SPAL sporting director, former colleague of Inzaghi's elsewhere. And uh, Venturato let that simmer all game, and eventually his side lost. 3-1 to Regina, big start for Pippo. Post-game, Filippo then went looking for Venturato, and Venturato wanted nothing to do with him, and then let him have a few words. And that is our Moscone moment of the week.